I picked up this 16 by 20 canvas at either Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to be using our Fall Farm Tissue Paper by Roy Cycled. You can find this at chalkitupfancy.com. It has the barn, the tractor, and the farm truck. I'm going to be using the farm truck today, and I'm going to decoupage it to my canvas board. I do have a piece of wood underneath, so it keeps my canvas nice and still. And I'm going to be using our one hour enamel clear, and I'm going to do this in sections. I'm going to do the right side first, lay my paper down, and go to the left side, and then lay my paper down. I'm going to take some saran wrap, and this is going to help me get wrinkles out without tearing the paper. And I'm going to use a brayer. And remember, I have a board underneath. You can get the brayer at chalkitupfancy.com along with the one hour enamel clear. And I'm going to allow everything to dry. You do want to make sure you put a final coat of the one hour enamel clear before you allow it to dry. I'm going to take golden rod and I'm going to fill in around the edges of my paper. And I'm going to do this at the bottom portion. And then I'm going to take some bone and I'm going to start filling it in and blending it into our goldenrod and just trying to tone it down so it starts to blend into the paper that was originally there. I'm going to take the bone and put it in the sky area and then add some Higgins Lake. And I'm just trying to pull the tissue paper and then the blank canvas around the edge and I'm trying to pull this together. I'm taking some Charleston green and a little dry thyme and doing some landscaping uh, in this one side here. Don't overthink it. I'm not going to keep it exactly like this, but I just wanted to kind of get some sort of an image in that area. I'm going to the fall pumpkin and I'm going to cut out several pumpkins and this is exactly how I'm going to decoupage these to my canvas using the same method as I used with the farm truck. And once these are all decoupaged on, I'm going to allow everything to dry. I found this sunflower stencil at Hobby Lobby. Today I'm going to be using Redesign by Prima's chalk paste. It's the first time I'm using it. I just wanted to give it a run. Um, but you can use joint compound. This is called chalky white. And you're going to apply it just like you would the joint compound. And I did these sunflowers randomly across the bottom. I do really like this redesign by Prima Chalk Paste. I do think we're gonna uh, get this in stock for you guys. Uh, this is Buxton Blue. This is already uh, colored for you. They have different colors in their chalk paste. And I am using a cow print stencil that I grabbed at Walmart. And I'm just randomly putting these across the top, kind of giving the um, image of a cloud using the cow print. And this is just going to give interest and texture to my project. Once that dried, I took some bone and toned it down by covering the clouds uh, lightly with the bone and allowing the Buxton Blue to peek through. I'm going to take some Citron by Wise Owl. I apologize, this color is no longer in stock, but any lemon tone, I'm just kind of randomly uh, dry brushing into the sunflowers. I'm going to put some black and brown into the center. And then I'm going to take a cloth. I'm just randomly getting that citron around the canvas. I'm going to take a cloth and pull back some of this color on the sunflower using a little bit of water 
just so it has more of that watercolor look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateoffancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfer, or mesh stencils, chocolateoffancy.com.